a good man, but he's not your type. When it comes to types, okay, because we talked about this the last time, it's a pattern when it comes to your type, patterns and characteristics, okay? These are things that you have seen or that you have explored before. You've probably seen mama, Amy, friends, somebody who had a, sp a specific type or somebody in the neighborhood and you was like, oh, that's a bad boy, that's a dope boy, that's something like that. I like that because of the thrill. In certain spaces in your life, you cannot bring that type with you. So if you see that all other characteristics and behaviors are good, why does the type even matter? Women look at seven Settling as a bad thing because they don't want to settle for a guy that's not their type. What is your type going to do when y'all have conflict? What is your type going to do when you have issues in your relationship? Run, bitch! Run! <laughs>
what is your type going to do when it comes down to getting to know someone, to actually have a bond with each other, to get married, to start a family? People don't marry their time. So you're limiting your dating market by saying, oh, he's not my time. He is not my time. I don't like him because he doesn't have sway. Wow, the land of make-believe. He doesn't look like money. Let me tell you something. People that have money don't look like money. People that don't have money look like money. Just because you drive a Mercedes does not equal money. Just because you wear name brand clothes doesn't equal money. Real luxury doesn't have a label. Y'all didn't hear that. Because y'all aren't ready for that conversation. Real luxury doesn't have a label. You're a victim. Mm. Here we go, CSI. So when you go in your little girlfriend circles talking about this is my type, he's my type, date my type, your type is keeping you single. Yep. Because you don't want to step outside of your comfort zone to really understand that your type is a form of trauma. A few moments later. Hello, it's day four of being single, and I broke my one day streak of not crying. Um, and I keep telling myself, I am repeating this mantra, I am a strong, independent woman, and I do not need a partner to feel fulfilled, happy, or safe. You know, it's crazy because I um, joke a lot about being single and, you know, I, um, I laugh it off. But I'm 46 years old. And while I'm getting ready for surgery and everything, it dawned on me. Hold on. I'm sorry. It dawned on me that I'm 46 years old and I don't have a husband to take care of me. You've been traumatized to believe that you can only date your time. And then you're the same women that grow up and say, I'm 40 and alone. I'm 35 and alone. I'm unmarried. I have no kids. But everybody around me is getting married except for me. Y'all remember back in the day when women would start getting scared? When all of their friends started to get married and they felt that they were going to be the odd one out. So they would start either trying to date with intent or getting their current boyfriend to drop the question because they didn't want to be the only one out. Nowadays, it's the opposite. Nobody's getting married. Nobody's having wedding showers and bridal showers and bridal parties and wedding rehearsals. Yep. Instead of getting married, you're getting a baby shower. Instead of getting married, you're getting kids. And then you're celebrating the kids that are going to grow up the same way you did. So you're repeating the same cycle over and over again. You have to stop dating your time. Your time is what's keeping you single. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell that will let you know 
every time I upload content. You're going to see me right after this in the next video. Click on the next video that comes on the screen. You'll see me there. And until the next video, peace.